Hello, I'm Alvin. Welcome back to Tasty's Making It Big, the show where I make giant versions of some of America's most beloved foods. Today, I'm going to be making a huge hot dog. How are we going to do it? I'm not so sure yet, but we're going to find out right now. <laughs> Okay, so you can't make a hot dog without making a, hold on, <laughs> stop. So you can't make a hot dog without making a hot dog. So we're gonna make a hot dog. We have a KitchenAid mixer with a meat grinder attachment. All the parts have been frozen to keep everything nice and chilled. If it warms up, things start to stick, get messy, and that's not good. Over here, I have a lot of chuck, which is a nice cut of beef with a lot of fat and flavor. I've never made a giant hot dog before, let alone a regular hot dog. So I'm gonna make a hot dog. Make sure that this doesn't get stuck. I wanna do one piece at a time. In you go. Where'd you go, dude? I put him in, but he's not coming out. So we gotta put in another one. Uh, come on, man. Slowly. Oh, I can hear this guy working really hard. If you remember, my friend Todd here from the Mac and Cheese episode had a little bit of a medical accident where smoke was coming out. <laughs> Since then, he's spent a long time in the ER and he might be sent back to the hospital in a little bit. All right, now it's slowly working. Whoa, 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 calm down now. So I figured out that grinding that beef would have taken us probably like two days with that, you know, old machine. So I went out to the store, got some ground beef. The butchers are way better than I am at doing that kind of stuff because, you know, as a wise poet once said, ain't nobody got time for that. Grinding isn't enough. Hot dogs are smooth, they're not burgers. That requires some additional processing. Oh yeah. Woo, look at this guy. And to turn the mixture into more of a smooth emulsified paste, I'm adding a little bit of ice water to help it maintain its structure. Mmm, delicious. I wanna say this batch is done for now. Let's see what we got. Wow, that really is fresh hot dog stuff. Oh, that smell is something else. I woo -wee. I would have processed the second batch and you know, y'all yeah, don't need any more details about that. I want to do that and you guys just, just chill out for a couple seconds. <laughs> there are certain seasonings that make hot dogs taste like hot dogs. So we have salt, sugar, garlic and onion powder, dry marjoram, dry coriander, smoked paprika, <laughs> sweet paprika, white pepper, mustard powder, mace, the spice, not the self-defense weapon, and last, sodium nitrate, which is a curing salt that gives the hot dog its signature pink-red color after it's cooked. Oh boy, this is a lot of seasoning. The one thing I will say is that it now smells a lot better. So this meat mixture has now been completely seasoned. We have a large sausage casing that we purchased from the Bologna Company. So I have a strong hunch that they know what they're doing. In order for us to make a hot dog with it, it does need to hydrate a little bit. So I'm putting it in warm water so it can become nice and stretchy and flexible so we can put the meat inside of it. And this will take about uh, 30 minutes. This is really weird. It's like a giant chili pepper. How do you open this guy? Like, like, no. The goal is to get all of this meat inside this casing. This is gonna be a very weird process. Hold on. This kind of feels like when you're filling up a pastry bag for like piping frosting. So let's just think of it that way. Oh, no, get, you better not. Oh my God, I swear to God, dude. Are you kidding me? You are kidding me. Good thing this table is clean. Okay, so this is what it looks like when all that meat uh, was put in the casing. I'm gonna need to tie it, so I wanna get a nice twist going on. Let's see if I can tie this guy. Okay, I think it's time to cook it. Good job, dude. We have a nice water bath to help it cook slowly and gently. If I had kids, this is how I would lay them to sleep. Not, not in a water bath, that's, 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 that's bad. All right, come on, dude. Oh boy. Come on, in you go. This guy's in the oven. He's gonna cook for around two hours to slowly, slowly cook it through the water bath. And then we'll check back. So our friend Todd is back to make 
the hot dog bun from scratch. So to start, I'm combining some warm milk, some sugar, and the yeast, so that the yeast has plenty of food. This is a recipe that is directly from Joshua Weissman. He has some great stuff on YouTube, so be sure to check him out, because his recipes are really good. All right, oh, and I spilled classic alpin. Okay, this is gonna chill out until it starts to get nice and bubbly. Into the mixer, I'm adding some Bread flour, don't spill, yeah, I spilled, okay. Get in there. And some salt. Just gonna incorporate this a little bit. Todd has seen some stuff. It took me a while to coax him back out to come back out for another round, but we're gonna get every ounce of power out of this guy before he needs to go to the scrap yard. That's kind of dark. Okay, so the yeast has grown up a little bit. As you can see, this is pretty much ready to go. It's coming together. To make this dough even richer and nicer, I have two eggs and two egg yolks that I'm just gonna add. Todd, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to kick it up a notch for you. Todd's pissed. To make the dough extra soft, supple, and rich, I'm gonna go slowly with a couple of tablespoons of butter. This is where the real battle begins. Hang in there, I got four more tablespoons of butter coming. I can't give out on them quite yet. You got this. Just keep going. Never give up. Okay, I think the dough's done. Whew. All right, take a long rest, buddy. Whee. Nice. I'm gonna shape this guy into a nice pillowy ball. This dough feels so nice, oh my god. So it's been 45 minutes since this bread has been resting. He's grown quite a lot, as you can see. And this dough has so many air bubbles. It's so light, it's super fluffy. So I'm gonna punch it down. Wow, that's fun. Look at all that gluten development. That's what I'd like to see. Come on, come on. Look at that. I'm trying to shape it into a hot dog bun shape. So I'm, again, sort of tucking and rolling. It kind of looks like a baby. I don't want to name you though, because probably get attached and then I have to like cut you in half for the hot dog. I won't name you, I'll just call you baby. Okay, let's put you in your little foil crib. I don't know how to hold children. Ugh. That's not how you should treat children at all. So this is gonna proof for another 45 minutes or so before it bakes and then right before it bakes, I'm gonna brush some egg on top of it to give it some really nice color. Into the oven you go, big dude. Goodbye. Ooh. The hot dog's been cooked in that water bath and cooled. Ooh, <laughs> that was fun. That was like in kindergarten. Look at that. It smells really good, like a really, really seasoned beef thing. To get the really nice color it deserves, we're gonna help it by making a little bit of a glaze. I'm gonna put in some barbecue sauce, some ketchup, and a little bit of oil. Let's brush this dude. Time to paint. Nice. I'm Bob Ross. I'm currently painting with a deep shade of hot dog red. There are no mistakes, just happy little accidents. I'm very bad at art, but I can brush hot dogs over soft buns any day. I'm gonna put this into an oven so that the glaze can sort of caramelize and cook and bind with the sausage, and I will be right back. Big boy. Okay, we have a wonderful hot dog-esque giant tray that was made by our art team. I think it's fantastic, and this is what we're gonna serve the hot dog in. First things first, let's get the bun in there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna split the bun down the middle. Don't mess this up, Alvin. Slow and steady. Okay, how am I gonna get you all the way in there? Guess we just gotta go for it. Do -do -do. Houston, we have landed. That's not what they say, right? Houston, we usually they say Houston, we have a problem, but there are no problems in Houston. I mean, New York. <laughs> Can't have a hot dog without ketchup and mustard. Let's draw some squiggles. Woo! I think that's okay. So, oh sh Maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I think I did it. 
Yeah, it looks like a DNA helix, but that's okay. I think this is a giant hot dog. I'm very happy with it. It's pretty heavy. I want to say like 20 pounds. This hot dog is the size and weight of at least 80 hot dogs. It looks pretty good. <laughs> Time to eat it. Oh, it's really soft and tender. Whoa, ho, ho, look at that. Wow, look at that color. This is my portion. A nice sausage meat patty with two nice bread croutons. Mmm, that's a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. It still tastes like a hot dog, but it's like a fancy sausage meatball thing. To be fair, everything here was made from scratch. There's none of those preservatives, those artificial flavorings. Maybe that's why it didn't taste as nostalgic, but I will say, pretty darn good hot dog. So you guys are probably wondering what's gonna happen to the rest of this. I would have personally loved to share this with friends because that's something I like to do, but unfortunately, I can't do that right now. So me and this hot dog are gonna spend some really good quality time together. And I will see you guys next time. It's just you and me, dude.